right, I believe. And that's onto a dirt road. All right, I think I'm live now. All right, so now we, uh, I just wanted a little bit better chat interaction, so I changed the latency. And that should be a little bit better for those people over there. Okay, so uh, let's get back to live now. And there we go. So it looks like uh, chat is, uh, hey again, how you doing? Uh, okay, so we have uh, coasted on over. And it looks like we are able to, yeah, JD Trek is, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. I was just saying that um, I think uh, for example, yeah, that's pretty horrible. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can do a full load in medium, really, even. Yeah, so I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, that is a mess. Well, um, I think it might be easier to stay in low than when we have a full load. Um, I mean, that's a top speed fully load of like 45 miles an hour if you just stay in low. Oh, but right, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you can't shift to low too because you need to shift the range first. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, that is kind of a mess. Well, um, I mean, for, you know, to make, uh, to make it easier, we could always change the, uh, Yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a nasty uh, that's a nasty gearbox. Yeah, the bottom of, bottom of unsickle road, turn left, and then turn the right into the dirt track, which is just like a couple of hundred yards down the road. Well, now that I've now that I figured out the gearbox, since I already have them all programmed on my on my wheel, it's not terrible. Although, I'm stuck in M2 and still not accelerating. So I need to go back down to low 2. Yeah, this gearbox is... Well, I mean, maybe I should have tested out the gearbox a little bit more first. Craig. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Craig. It's enough. Alright, there you go. This truck Thank just you. doesn't have a lot of horsepower. <laughs> Be careful when you take that right turn into the dirt track because um, it's easy to slip a wheel off where the concrete and the dirt are and you can easily flip it there. What are you talking about, Cat? I was just giving Michael some instructions on getting down to the corn place. <laughs> you know, the windshield wipers are kind of stuck in the up position on this truck. So the bottom of here, Michael, you want to turn right, uh, sorry, turn left, uh, go over the hump and turn right, you'll see the green bins and it's uh, bin number three, I think, solo three. Yeah, it's a round pack, Michael. Yeah. Yeah, Annex commenting on uh, tags on the... Oh, that is nice. You get done there, JD. I'll ca catch up with you in just a minute. I'll be right back. <laughs> this truck is crazy. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's try starting out. We are. Whoops. I'm gonna finish emptying here first. Okay, let's. Uh, whoops, we are uh, going backwards. All right, let's try uh, get back home here at. Uh, let's try it out of medium. I think we can accelerate it in medium. Well, if we're empty, maybe we can try high. Let's try high. Might be able to skip a few of the gear sequences. Is it the one on the left? Uh, hang on. Well, yeah, ideally. Yes, yeah, the one on the left. You've got, you've just gone past it, I think. Right on the right, on the right. Tremont Co-op Pit Three. So you want to turn around and take the left. Left? That would be the right. Okay, right. I was working it out if you turned around. Yeah, go right down there. That's it. And then you want to go to pit three, which is sort of around the side back area. Come on. 
pull it out truck. <laughs> this thing uh, sounds like it's gonna blow up. <laughs> How you doing, yeah. Mad Max? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, are you on the grain truck, Michael? Oh yeah, I think we've already passed Michael. <laughs> There you go, Michael. <laughs> it does. <laughs> well, you know, part of the problem is the uh, the speeds that Giant uses aren't really... Uh... Oh, how you doing, Mad Max? I, I can't remember if I said hey there or not. Um, the speeds that Giant uses for the... Uh, for those things are not... Um, it, it, it's the, the curve's not the game's not set up really to use a gasoline engine um, so it you gotta play a lot with the sounds to get the the rev sounding decent at a high speed and then um, you also have to play around with uh, the torque curves and you know it's, it's, it's really not set up for a gasoline engine it's crazy like they set up all their engines to go based on like 2200 rpm Let's just drive them inside the cab here. Sure, it would be probably easier if I use. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's hard on the clutch. Let's do medium. That'll be a little bit easier. <laughs> this truck, this truck can't really even use the high gear or the, or the high range when it's. Uh... Oh, God, it slows down at the... Go up the hill. Oh, yeah, these trucks just need that's a little what, bit more power, I think. That's what Peter's been telling you for the past two hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I... It was fine when I tested it on flat roads, but, you know... You don't really think of uh, Central Illinois as having hills, but... It has just enough hills wow. that I think it's uh, that I think it's bad. Well, I mean, it's, it's different when you drive it yourself. You know. You know that. Oh yeah, but I can't believe you tested on the flat roads only. Well, I mean, it was just a quick test on Goldcrest. I'm like, oh yeah, it works great. Just did a speed test. <laughs> Do you even have a trailer? Yeah, I have a trailer. Uh, no, I mean when you were testing. No. <laughs> <Okay>. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You guys want to? You guys want to trade it real quick and add a couple more engines with uh, some higher, uh, some higher horsepower? No, I didn't test it all the way. I used, uh, I used real life numbers. Well, granted, I mean, you know, who who would have thought that a, a truck back what is this the '60s? A truck from that far ago would uh, would uh, would need that much horsepower? It was perfect yesterday. <laughs> It, well, that was like four times unrealistic. I think if I double it, that would feel about real. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys want to pause the server and do that real quick or not? Yes, please. Yes, please. Because I'm dying here. I can I also feel like change. I'm going backwards. Um, do you want me just to change the? Uh, do you want me just to change the gearbox so it's like sequential? I know Wayne would probably hate that. But... No, no. Can we leave that for next time? Just, just, uh, just change the engine, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. We just, just add the more torques. Yeah, welcome uh, welcome to the channel, Heather. Uh, we're having a, a bit of a technical... <laughs> he stole Grandpa's truck from the barn, Dennis says. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, let's, let's stop then real quick. Let's uh, stop and save the server. Um, I will add... You know what? I'll steal a couple of engines from, like, the... Uh, I don't know. Well, you guys can just watch the stream to see what I'm doing. I'll steal a couple inches from the American Truck dual axle. Okay, so I'll save and let's uh, quit. And we're going to, oh, what's stupid iTunes? Um, we're going to go over and, oh, I think I already have it here. That's right. So this is uh, the server. We're going to stop the server. Actually, no, I don't want to show you all of that stuff. Uh, let's stop the server. And, oh good, that's right, it's a black screen. I'll get the screen back here in a minute, guys. Just uh, one second. Just, uh, okay, there we go. Let's go to display capture. This will be a really quick change here. Um, what we're doing is we are changing this. So um, we're gonna extract and we're gonna give our, we're gonna give our truck uh, some options of uh, changing the engines. So we need, 
this basic uh, engine here, and then we need, um, yeah, it's just not very powerful. Um, so we need to change the torque scale. So the torque scale is going to be, let's see, what do we want? Let's look at something like the, well, this is what I've done. Um, let's look at the, where's gearbox? Just a second. Here, folks, um, I got to go hang some cabinets. All right. Uh, thanks for stopping okay. by, Farmer Craig. Thank you for helping. Yep. I'll uh, so... try and catch you guys next time. Yeah, yeah. Cap I'll, uh... Sounds like a weird euphemism. What? Okay, see you later, Craig. I, I, I've got to hang some cabinets. It sounds like see a weird euphemism. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right, so let's do Gearbox Mowgli and... Let's just, you know what? It might be a little unrealistic, but we're going to steal the transmission from the dual truck. I don't need to change the... Okay. Just just hold on. Here's what we're going to do. So we're going to steal that gearbox, uh, but we're not going to change the torque factors for the gearbox. It's going to be a little unrealistic uh, at the moment. Um, we'll do... That, and we're going to delete the real engine stuff. So it's going to use the, if I understand the gearbox correctly, it's going to use the, the torque scale of the default engine with the gearbox of the American truck dual axle. Now, I don't know anything about tire ratio or rim diameters, so this could be a little bit scary. Um, but let's, uh, let's change the motor config here. So what did Dural use? on his so we've got the uh modding mods and more realistic one second guys it'll be pretty quick here i'm just trying to get some realistic engines um so more realistic mod data and then vehicles overriding and steerable and american truck and american truck dual axle i think dural has some multiple engines in here so let's grab the uh where's the tor oh wait you only has one engine well, that's interesting. Um, oh, he does have two engines. That's right. So he has two. Well, we could really soup up this. Uh, oh, boy, that's a lot. Um, I don't know. That's That seems really souped up for this old tractor. <laughs> Platinum Turbo saying do it. <laughs> I don't I don't know. What's the well let's let's look what the American truck one axle has. That's that's a lot. How much difference is it? This is 2.16. The dual is 2.14. If I do 2.16, that's that's almost what we had yesterday. Okay, that's too much. Yeah, I think, okay, you know what? You know what I think I'll do instead? I think I'll just artificially inflate these default engines a little bit. Um, let's just do that. So let's add uh, a one. <laughs> so let's do, this is going to totally mess things up. 1.2 and let's do 1.7. Uh, um, We'll see how that, <laughs> we'll see how that works. Uh. Yeah. And then it is a little bit scaled down. So let's actually grab the, where's this transmission? Where's the, oh, well, we'll just, okay. Let's just see how that works. And if gearbox doesn't work correctly, you can turn off the gearbox and use the default. Um, you can use the default motor configurations, but I think that's the simplest way to do it. We'll just, uh, add the, um, add the torque scale there. So, okay. So should I test this out? Should I upload this to uh, the server and just go? I'll test it first. <laughs> what fun is that, Michael? Come on. Yeah, upload it. Upload it. Go, go, go. <laughs> seven, seven. Well, honestly, here's the deal. I can upload it and test it on the server almost as fast as I can myself. And then, and then if, it, it. if it works, I'll give you guys the link. How's that sound? So nobody download it just yet. So we're going to replace 
We're gonna do that. We're gonna go to the dedicated server. Um, hold on, I need to go to black screen simulator just for a second, guys. Uh, while I upload this mod, just don't want to show off all the details of the server. D A T A data bank, deleting the data bank and uploading the mod and mods data bank upload upload and then we'll go back in game and test it out okay so let's go home and start the server and then i'll get you guys back okay so start nobody uh nobody touched nothing yet i might have to i might have to change that so just uh give me a minute for testing here and okay so the server is started let's get in game and i shouldn't have to do anything myself okay let's uh window capture there you go you guys got it back Blank screen simulator has ended. Um, actually, I'm going to go back to blank screen simulator um, real quick here. Just while I connect to the server, I probably already showed off the uh, password there, but hopefully nobody's watching. Do we need to download the mode again? Not yet. Not yet. I'm testing it, Peter. Give me a minute, Peter. Um, okay, you can jump in my truck. It's fill up. We, we have, yes, uh, we have the, so all the trucks have the upgraded engines, right? Right, Peter? Yes, they do. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So I will, um, I guess there's no real need to test out the basic engine. I mean, who's going to buy the basic engine? <laughs> <laughs> Not us. <laughs> okay, let's go back to window capture and get back to uh, where's Peter's truck? Uh, that's Posidios. I got it. All right, so we've got the uh... oh CBT. Oh, geez, gearboxes. How to change the type of transmission in gearbox? Simple or manual? Oh, that's horrible. Well, I managed to screw up the gearbox, but the, uh, seems to accelerate a lot better. Let's see how it does at high speed. Sorry if you can hear my dog whining in the background. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty quick up to 36 miles an hour. On the dirt road. Yeah, on the dirt road. I'm up to 42. That's very good. Yesterday I was doing only 19 on the dirt road, Max. You mean, you mean today? <laughs> oh, yesterday. I used it yesterday, you remember? Uh, <laughs> okay. The brakes are still bad on this. <laughs> what is... Do I have IC on or something? Does this truck have IC? Mm, no, I don't think it does. I see my mouse like I have IC on. Okay, should, uh, sh should we do a 0 to 60 test? Yes. Alright, so with the most powerful engine, ready, uh, someone time me, ready? Call it. Now? Okay. Accelerating. Twenty miles an hour? Thirty miles an hour? 35. Let's get inside the cab here. 40. 45. 50. And that's kind of max. 50 like miles. Like 30 an hour. seconds. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I'm pulling a full load on a really old. That seems too fast. Should I? Should I? Should I go down a little bit? I mean, that feels fake, doesn't it? Yeah, on the dirt road, yeah, that's quite fast, I think. That was on the concrete road, not dirt road, wasn't it? That was that on was the concrete awesome. road, but it, it's like it's like, like I almost didn't have any problems at all. I yeah. think I think we're going to change that just slightly. Um, just slightly here. Okay, so let's uh, go back to display capture, and um, should I also change the capacity of the uh, the the trailers, cat? You made a mention about that. 
Um, or should I not do that? <laughs> well, the, the thing is, now you've got extra power, you'll be able to haul extra load. <laughs> is it going to slow you down back like to basics? Thing, <laughs> okay. Um, let's. I which, is, which is good because it's right that the, um, you know, that the the uh, um, the semis pulling more than the crazy uh, Chevy. Chevys. I agree. Yeah. A full semi should hold more than that Chevy with the trailer. It should. Well, but at the moment it okay. wouldn't. Uh, I mean, it can. It, it, it can, right? It just can't pull it. Um, okay, yeah, so... But, but, but now you're putting a more powerful engine in it, it should be able to pull it. So let's try uh, 0.8 for the bottom scale and 1.3 for the high-end engine. Um, and granted, this is going to read out the wrong horsepowers, but uh, let's try that real quick. Um, I think, because I had 1.7... Oh, goodness, you know what? I can't remember if I changed this or not. Okay, so let's uh, go back out and control A, 7Z, and uh, zip that up, and cut, and paste, and overwrite, and delete. And uh, I'm going to go black screen simulator real quick while I access the server, and go to mods, and data bank, delete you. And then, you know, I probably should have done this r before I started streaming instead of right as I started streaming, but whatever. Uh, let's upload you and then we're going to go to home and then in our data bank activate. Oh, uh oh, did I activate the mod last time? <laughs> uh, because if I did not activate it, it was using the original default XML and it was not MR. Which is why it probably accelerated so fast. Which makes sense. Then, yeah. <laughs> Darn it! Yep. Okay, well, we're going to try it out at this new and improved engine, or under-improved engine power. Um, okay, so uh, my version matches with the server. That's good. And so now the high end is like something like one point, uh, what was that? The high end is like one point, what did I set it at? 1.6? I forget. Well. Oh. It doesn't really matter if it works. Uh, I'll adjust the horsepower rating later. Uh, the next thing is why does the... Why does the engine say... Um, it's so weird. Yeah, Sim, I think you might have just shown the password. Yeah, I know. Well, don't tell everybody that didn't happen to see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I mean, they, they... if they didn't happen to see it... Then doesn't well they also don't oh yeah because it was using the cbt transmission okay so using gearbox let's just accelerate and see what happens it's an automatic so for those that uh so on the dirt road i i'm up to uh 22 miles an hour relatively quick that's yeah. not too, that's not that's not bad because yesterday was 19 that's my I think I don't know really how much you have in there I was fully loaded yesterday that's mean I was 40 let's let's do the CVT just uh just to get rid of gearbox since most of you guys are not using that so let's go out on the concrete road here I'll stop at the stop sign I think this will be good I mean I, I wanted to feel Part of it is I, I want it to accelerate, but I also want it to feel like it's struggling a little bit. So when we upgrade to a shiny new semi, you know, that has 500 horsepower or whatever, you know, and, it, and it, it'll, it'll feel like an actual upgrade. But I don't want these to be not fun either, you know, and worthless. Okay, so on the cement road, I pulled out and I'm going 26 miles an hour. Slowly accelerating to, tw to 30. I think this might be pretty good. Yeah, that looks like the sort of slow acceleration. Cause it's, it's accelerating, it's just a little bit slower, which is kind of what you want, but you still want it, you still want it to have some power. And and think it's also not completely full yet. You've got like another, oh, I don't know, third of a tank to go. 
Yeah, so you guys can probably fill them up. I'm up to 40. Let's see how it handles on the hill here. Um, well, here's the real test. I should stop and see if it accelerates up this hill. That's what I, that's, that's a good test. Okay, let's hit the brakes. Okay, so we're starting out at, from zero. Let's accelerate up this hill at the bridge. So yeah, I'm already at 10 miles an hour going uphill. Granted, I'm not, now I'm down to nine. <laughs> now I'm down to eight. Now I'm down to seven, but I think I'll still make it. Six. From a dead oh, stop no. going uphill. No, I made it down yeah, to that, six. Yeah, that's from a dead stop though. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's about right. Yeah, yeah you should try on the on the cross junction. Well, if it if it can make it up that hill to the bridge, it should be able to make it at the at the stop sign because that's not any steeper than that. Okay. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good now. I'm sure we are better than we was before. <laughs> we're, <That's> been... <laughs> we're a lot better. Um, okay, so I am going to um, go back to game capture, enter the password, and um, tell these other guys to join on in. So I will post the link. I mean, it should be the same link, but just for good measure. I will post this in the uh, the Discord. So there you go. All right, there you go, guys. And now this is using the gearbox from the American Truck Axle thing. So uh, you should, if you if you want to put it in automatic and have it shift for you, but you still like the sound of actually shifting with gearbox, it'll do that for you, and you can still get the enjoyment of a realistic transmission instead of the, the unrealistic CBT on a on a thing. The unrealistic CBT on a grain truck is what, or uh, on a semi truck is what I was trying to say. Okay, so we are back now. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for your patience there. Uh, we're going to get back and um, we're going to get back in the uh, other semi where we were at. Um, that weight, someone left a weight down there. I reset it to the farm. Uh, where did my truck go? There we go. That was my truck. All right, so we want, uh, we're going to use the gearbox. Uh, we are going to also use manual because that's just a lot more fun. And uh, we're uh, synchronizing with other players. You know, guys are coming back in the server. Yeah, I think okay. we have like double or three times. <laughs> Everyone What's that? The same time. <laughs> What's that? Everyone doing the same time synchronizing. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we just started, Devin. We just started. Um, yeah, if you, um, I don't know if you hit the bell or not, but if you go onto my homepage, if you want to be notified every time I do something, go to my homepage and right next to the subscribe button, if you're already a subscriber, you'll see a little bell. If you hit that bell, then it'll notify you every single time I do something on YouTube. Otherwise, it's basically goes by the YouTube algorithm. It, it's, it's, uh, it, it's, <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty amazing the way YouTube works. Even if you're subscribed to someone, you don't always get notified when they're live or when they upload a new video just based on the way YouTube works. Um, but, uh, okay. So, here we go. So, we are... We should be able to go to... Why can't I shift the range? Oh, that's right. I had to go to... There we go. Oh, that's weird. So, the H and the... There's a couple different ranges on this truck. I don't quite know how they work. All right, but what I do know is, um, clutch is overheating. But still overheating. All right, it's gonna take me a little while to get used to this clutch and the uh, the gear shift pattern here. There we go. So once we're up to here, we can go to five high. It looks like.
Yeah, probably shifted a little bit too early there. All right. Okay, so who have we got running what? Um, I'm running one of the trucks. Uh, I can hop um, back in the, uh, if JD Tractors wants to try this truck again, it's a lot better. Um, I'd be more than happy to jump back into the combine, but I could also give someone else a break from trucking for a while. Just depends. Uh, anybody over on YouTube, let me know how the volume is. I can, uh, can adjust it. Let's, uh, let's go from the outside view a little bit. Give you guys a little bit better of a view. Who's running the uh, overwagon? Uh, I don't know. We, I don't know if we have everybody back in the in the game or not yet. Whoops. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm Sorry. here. I don't know who else is <laughs> oh, here. Oh no. Uh, okay. YouTube. Uh, YouTube didn't see that. Nothing happened. <laughs> I took. Oh. I, I was. I was trying to give people a good view and drive from outside the cab, but then I didn't see that there was oncoming traffic when I tried to take a wide turn, and, and then he turned in front of me. So I was like, "Whew, that was good." And then right as I was turning, there was another car approaching the stop sign on the other side of the road. I was like, "Oh no, I'm gonna hit him!" So I drove in the ditch. Not very pretty. No, it was not pretty. <laughs> But the scenery is pretty. All right. That's thank you. Brief. Thank you very much, Anik. Hello from Sweden, Martin's photograph says. How are you doing? How is the weather over there? I don't know a lot about Sweden. Sim, are the uh, telegraph poles really that thick? In no, Tasman? that's just the... Uh, that's the pack I used. That's the default scale they had, and I totally didn't even, I totally didn't even notice it until like I was already done laying them all out, and that's when uh, someone said, "Oh, it's a great map, except for uh, I think it was uh, um, from FSUK. It was like CCS01 or something." He's like, "It looks like it looks awesome, except for the telegraph poles look way too big." <laughs> They're from Le Bout de Monde, aren't they? Uh, maybe Labat Dumont I used the same ones. Those are actually yeah. from like FS15 when I laid them all out. Yeah, I, I tried so hard to find a, a realistic American telephone pole and I couldn't. So I just I just went with whatever was well, out there. All, all that means is it's just harder for a cat to knock him down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Snow and ice, Martin says. Uh, I think I'm going to switch to an automatic, even though these trucks, I don't know. I, I kind of like the manual. Let's keep with the manual. The automatic would be easier to drive and talk. This is, you know, you guys know you how set up your vehicle. Yeah. I, I, I set it up so that it's, the, uh, that it's the same as the American truck dual axle. It uses, use so... It. Um, I, I deleted all of the torque curves from Gearbox. So, um, from how I understand, when that happens, Gearbox just uses the default torque curve that you originally have set up with the actual engine. The same one that MR uses. So, it uses that torque curve, but it's just really the shift pattern that Gearbox uses. So, if you put Gearbox in automatic, it'll actually work and it'll shift and it'll give you the gears. Um, it'll just... Uh, yeah. yeah just, we're going to switch to inside the cab here. It's just a little bit easier to uh, to see and stay on the road. Yeah, it's a little bit easier. All right. <laughs> yeah, I need to adjust my mirrors. They're not the best. Michael, is your Chevy okay? Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I that's that's so tough. Is it fine now? It is now, yes. Thank you, Dick. 
when you use the head tracking, you need to pull your head from the window from the semi to see anything from the mirror. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Oh yeah, now the cruise control is up to 97 miles per hour. Oh, it is? Yep. That black Mac looks amazing in the sunlight. Doesn't it? Yes. I told you that was the right color to get. <laughs> it's so cool, isn't it? It's got like a shiny, creamy black look to it. Oh, it's tasty. <laughs> it is awesome. Stay in the road, that's pro level talk. Oh, Kerbo, Kerbo! Yes, I am feeling better, Devin. Um, yeah, sorry for ignoring chat, guys. Yeah, I, I am feeling a little better today. Um, Kerbo's having fun. Kerbo, are you going to come in here? It'd be great to have you along. We've got a, we got an extra truck to drive here. Our goal now, now that we have things sorted out, is to uh, keep JD Tractors, who's driving our combine, keep him uh, more than busy. Um, do we have everyone back? I'm going to move this other grain truck out of the way. Hang on, you're spilling. You're spilling. Platinum, oh, yeah, stop. Was he full there? Is that what happened or what? I, I, I was full and platinum. Oh, he, he kept mess. on trying to force it? <laughs> yep. He was just trying to squeeze a bit more in. Uh, Kerbal said he could hop on if we need another driver. Anyone? I'll be leaving there. Oh, so, yeah, it would help. Yeah. Yes, Kerbal. Oh, this is a crazy contraption. <laughs> uh, you know what? That's just horrible. I'm going to try to line up on over here. <laughs> yeah, I have things totally... I, I wasn't... <laughs> I, I was trying to uh, get this all lined up, ready to go. So that the semi could get lined up, ready to go. There we go. Attaching these gravity wagons to, to the Chevys is a brilliant idea, but it's turned something that was quite dangerous to drive into you something can, You can pull on in, Peter. You can pull on in, Peter. I'm trying to get things off the grass and lined up. Oh, this tractor sounds awesome. I've never driven this before. Oh, what, the little 6 state, whatever it was called. Why can't I get it out of... 6810. Yeah, there's a little 6810. Oh, I love the sound of the little 6810. It's a beautiful little tractor. Why can't I Why can't I get it in gear? Right control and shift... What? Nothing's working on it. Oh, there we Maybe go. Maybe it's, it's no, no one buying it in gearbox. Automatic. Oh, well, it was on automatic. There we go. Let's turn it to... It might be because I was driving it, so... <laughs> That's exactly the problem. Peter, let me get in uh let me get in line first, Peter. What the I yeah. drive it and it's like automatic. Just, I don't I don't know what was wrong with it before, but I have to set them all to auto. Yeah, but it, it's like it wasn't even working in auto. I didn't I didn't get it. That's fine. All right, Peter. Oh. Oh, Michael's in my truck. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let me let me pull on up there. And then you can get in line behind me a little bit. I basically need to be where you're at almost. If you want to pull around, just pull around in a circle and kind of get behind me. I like the effect of that truck. You, when you go to up in, the door automatically opens. Yeah, that's that's yeah. pretty cool, isn't it? All right, there we go. Sammy should give driving one of these uh, Chevys with a green bin on the back. Uh, I don't, day. I don't know. <laughs> I maybe I'll try that next. Uh, maybe I'll try that next time. All right, Kerbal's gonna be on in about ten minutes. How far is Cat? Uh, coming to the bottom of Unsucker Road. How how many liters do you have total, Cat? Uh, thirty-six thousand four hundred and sixteen. Oh goodness. 
Yeah, maybe we should try what one of these uh, semis handle uh, when it's completely full. Probably won't be too good, but... I'm yeah. gonna load it up full. Yeah, you I'm should. Try it. I'll probably just take whatever uh, whatever I get here from... Uh, who's in Logger Wagon? Is Craig still there? I don't know if he's in Logger Wagon. Uh, Platinum Service Logger Wagon, yeah. I'll probably just take whatever he gives me, uh, and I'll go from there. Uh-oh. Um, so if, uh, JD Tractors was 50, so Platinum Turbo is probably going to have around only 5 that, no, I'll wait. But probably, uh, unload JD Tractors coming back to the north. And then we'll go. This is, um... <laughs> what, what'd you do, Cat? Cat, oh no! <laughs> Are you stuck? <laughs> Hold on. Um... Nothing, good. nothing happening. <laughs> oh boy, this is great. <laughs> oh no, Cat, what happened? <laughs> um, <laughs> Looks like you took the turn too wide. Better. Uh, I, I, I may have accidentally <laughs> dipped a few wheels off into the. Uh, oh into no, Cat. I think that might actually be savable. That should be savable. If you don't, if, if you I don't... had enough power to like give it some, <laughs> then yeah, I could probably try. <laughs> is... I'm gonna have to patch and give it a knock. <laughs> What's that? No, no. Oh, okay, that might work. I was gonna say if you unlatch, it might tip over the rest of the way, but okay, that might work. Well, I'm gonna go back now and uh, yeah, go back to my truck. Yeah, you don't truck. wanna look at this. You don't wanna <laughs> yeah, look at we... what I'm about to do. <laughs> we won't. We won't look at that. Where's my uh? Where's my truck? There we go. All right, so we are 71% full. I think I'll just take that since that's all Platinum has. I'll uh, I'll get on out of here. Oh, Michael, if you wanna if you wanna park that and take the uh, take the dual chain, that's a little bit more efficient. Okay, that was completely. Don't want for that. Anybody wanna take over the auger wagon? I wanna try taking a full load first. Well. Michael, would you rather drive a semi uh, instead, uh, or would you rather drive the auger wagon? What do you want? Uh, semi. All right, I'll be auger near. You can go take that one. It's already full. I got your plat. All right. Control G twenty-seven. Okay. Oh dear. Cat, I'll come help you. All right. Maybe we All should right, put we the got bars, the bar, pull bar, in. Correct the manual. Okay. It wouldn't have helped in this circumstance. Yep. Yep. Just, uh, just was figuring out the controls. Transmit. It seems like every time I get in a, get in a tractor, oh, I have the to way. redo the transmission. Yeah. Yeah, there is one over there a little bit further, but it might be a little bit too far for what's convenient. I was over working on the other side of the field. Yeah, he's got it. We're on the same page. Although, I don't know why my gearbox isn't working from my... Gearbox shifter is not working. Oh, it swapped my range and... Oh, goodness. Platinum, did you do something? You swapped the gears and the range. That's why I was having a hard time. No, I didn't. You did. I did not. I didn't touch it. I had to change them. They must have reset when the server reset. Oh, that's crazy. Go in the basic when the servos. How you doing, Monalisher? Is he gonna join us? Probably not. He never does. He needs to go to bed. <laughs> he always needs to go to bed. <laughs> I know. Long time he played with us. It's like. <laughs> Alright, so who am I? I'm probably filling the uh, the semi first, right? To get better fuel economy in yes. that truck. Yeah, you were also there first. It's always night when you're streaming. No, it's, it's like one after, it's like 1300. I don't know what you're talking about. It's always night.
Um, actually, uh, JD Tractors, maybe, well, you're going to have to answer this type. I'll just back out of his way, uh, just in case. I don't know if he planned to work outside to outside, so if he'd come down here, if he'd work on the inside out, uh, which means I'd need to come down there. But either way, I'll just back out of his way so I can meet him with whatever his plan is. We'll do that. There we go. So I get back into neutral. And uh, we'll see what he's doing. Let's uh, get a good view of this beautiful 7R. Sure, it would be nice to have one of these in real life. Or an 8. I'd take an 8. Alright, so it looks like he's doing that way. Okay. Let's uh, hop on his track here. He's going to need them fairly soon. Uh, just so I can uh, look at chat, I like to have GPS here. Um, just so I can easily... Okay, Michael, so are you in a ditch? A... Yep, yeah, I'm in a ditch. A, a little truck hit me and I ended up jackknifing. Alright. I gotta help Cat first. Yeah, I get first dibs on the house. I'm, a, I'm actually out the ditch. Okay, that's good. I'm now in a different ditch. Do we need a tow truck mod? No. Does the, does the tow truck does the tow truck mod work on trains? <laughs> I'm trying to match your speed there. There we go. I was in the wrong gear at first. We're good now. What, what were you saying, Cat? Recovery Kat? truck. Yeah, can we get a recovery truck, Matt? What's that? Uh, uh, breakdown truck. Rescue. Yeah. Yeah. You have the highway rescue. One second, you guys are trying to... I'm trying to do too many things at once here. It's picking all the ground. This will be uh this will be just about a full load for somebody. Are you sure? Uh it'll be pretty close. I mean I can stay in uh well nah he's going further away. Um let me just uh let me offload here. I don't know why you fill me up totally because I wanna try if you can pull it. Let's try the automatic. Let's see how this works. That'd be easier. Michael, where are yeah, you? Yeah, we going? we need the we need the tow bar. I got it. I had to turn around because I ended up jackknifing, and I oh, went going in the middle of that road again because these little trucks are fierce. Very good. <laughs> I love them. All right. Well, here's what we can do, Peter. Um, I'm gonna fill you up, and then um, it might be a little while until I get back to you, but that's fine because I can always top off. The rest of my load onto the gravity wagon, and yeah, um, someone should be begging at that point. Yeah, well, what I was thinking is, uh, Cat can just hot swap it if uh, if she's already back in time. Cat, I'll just pull it out on the road for you. Thank you. Oh, Cat, did you go to empty your your truck instead? No. Oh. BT's going so good. It's fine. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I had to flip the green card over. <laughs> it's amazing how just a small slip can easily turn into a complete uh, uh, foul up. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the exact same as real life. <laughs> you, you get your tire off the curb just, just one little bit. And if you try to jerk it back and you don't slow down, you gotta slow down to almost to stop and ease it back on. Alright guys, I gotta get going though. It was fun playing with you all. Alright Platinum, yeah. Till next time. Yeah, see you Cheers later. Cheers for the safe Platinum. Thank see, you, see hi. See you later, buddy. See you Platinum. See you later. Alright, now.
Now is the fun part. We gotta race to where JD Tractors is at and try to get to him before he. That's is not old. even real. What? What's not real? What did you do now? Cat? Absolutely nothing. Jesus H. <laughs> did you crash again? Oh no. Like, seriously, on the next gosh darn bang, I don't even know what's going on. What is it? The moment the, the moment the stream gets turned to all day long, I've been driving this crazy contraption around, like, chuckling because well, everybody else has fallen over and I haven't. To, the to be you fair, the didn't you only on, drive it once? <laughs> you only drove the no, crazy contraption once, right? No, 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 I did like three runs in it. This is going to be really hard to, after synchronized to try to not hit the corn. I think I got my wheel in the right position <laughs> to not hit any corn. Yeah, sorry, I should have gave you a heads up. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I was just trying to. I'm trying to race to get to uh, get to the combine. Yeah, if you're not doing you, 60, you will be fine. You know. <laughs> Ninety-two percent. Ninety-three percent. All right, folks. What can I do to help out? Uh, probably... In front of me is Chevy with the trailer oh. ready. If you wanna Sorry. jump, I'm in the uh, field... What field I'm? Field 4. Okay, I'm, I'm trying uh, automatic transmission JD tractors and I've had problems getting started accelerating with that initially, so... If it acts a little funny, get prepared to turn it off if you're gonna start it all. But this is always safer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you say the Chevy in front of you? Was that Peter talking? Yes. We got pretty up after me. So you just need me out of the way, right? Yeah, if you pull behind me, that will be perfect. Got it. Thank you. Try not to drive on the grass or you get blocking. <laughs> yeah, someone, someone keeps parking vehicles on someone else's yard. Like, the Chevy's parked on someone else's yard now, isn't it? No, but if you park behind me, it's fine. People. People are parking on other people's yards. They just, they try so hard to keep their yard nice and nice and clean. You know, they already have to deal with the the, 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 the chaff coming out of the back end of the chopper from a combine, and, and now people drive their trucks and stuff all over their, uh, all over their yards. Poor people. So does anybody know with Gearbox, it's in automatic and it's like it's stuck on gear six. How do I stop that? Is that a setting that's wrong? Do I need to change speed matching or something? What's the, why does it do that? Like when I, when I shift gears. What do you mean stuck? Well, it's like I have the pedal to the floor and it was stuck in, in gear number six and it would not go past gear six, but it was like maxed out at max RPM. It just wouldn't speed up. I don't know, I don't know why it does that. It like, it eventually sorts itself out, but I don't know, I don't, I wish I knew what was wrong with it. Hello yeah, from Holland, how you doing Red Cargo? That. What's that? I'm not sure what causes that, I've got a truck that does that, I don't know if it's just a, like a mismatch between the RPMs or something. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, there we go. A little bit better. Yeah. Michael. 
You, yep. went, you went in the dead end. Yeah, and now I can't get out of it. It's The truck is stuck. Oh, well, not again. Not you again, but that's twice that, that, that someone stuck a semi down there. It's no, down no. at... Um, <laughs> it's on the it's, different end. It's on oh, the bridge. It won't go... It, it won't go... Uh, it won't reverse. Well, automatically it won't go forward because of the dead end, but I can't get off. It, it's like... I'm in a box. We were having such a good time with all the tractors. I'm gonna reset it then. Has it got any grain on board? Yeah, you can't. Uh, yeah. It's got grain on board. Ouch. If I reset only truck, you will be able to go back and hook it from the side. What do you think? It's gonna be difficult. The trailer's facing the opposite way. Yeah, I know, but if you pull a sideway, you should be able to do it. Let's try it. We'll try it. Then you need to jump out, Michael. I have done. Okay, done. Somebody's uh, oh, Annex playing uh, Annex playing Oakfield. It looks like. <laughs> Wait, Oakfield Farm has oats? I didn't realize they have a uh, multi fruit in that map. Yeah, it's got oats yeah. and all sorts. It's got how, is, uh, how, how are you guys like? Have you guys tried it and played it so far? Yeah, I'm on. Uh, I've actually. That's the one I'm actually on at the moment. How, uh, how is this it so one. far? Very good. Very good. Well, I went on there and drove around a bit because I was well, imp well impressed. <laughs> you definitely need a big, uh, big uh, cultivator for them fields. They're massive. Is it? Are the views better than the West Coast? Oh yes. Oh, really? Uh, I wouldn't say yes. so. I they're wouldn't different? say the views are better. I would. I mean, they're not. I, I, I bought a field, and you can see for miles. It's unreal. No, dogs are going crazy. Hold on, guys. All right, Peter, you want me to fill it up all the way? Yes, please. Sorry. All right. If uh, if Kerbo could pull forward after you, well, it might be easier for me to back up. No, yeah, it'll be easier for Kerbo to pull. I can pull up. All right. I don't know how long it'd take you to get out of there, but it seemed to take off pretty good, actually. Hey. Yeah, it drives much better. It's I finally good. managed to be able to shuck some corn. All right, I'll be. Wait, you're not supposed to be shucking corn. You're a truck driver. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I thought. I thought I was shucking corn. What? No, JD Tractors is shucking corn. Okay. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? I hope well, you're not shucking corn. Some... Shucking corn yeah. would mean that you drove into a field and uh, shucked some corn and pretended to be a combine. Uh, yeah, that might have happened. <laughs> Well, then you you might have been shucking some corn. <laughs> Maybe a small amount of corn. Oh, I failed. I failed. <laughs> I've, uh, I'm just using the MR CVT, so it should be easier to start uh, JD Tractors if you want to go. I'm not worried about gearbox at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna have to unload and drive forward because there is enough field left before I. I don't. I'm not sure I understand you there. 
probably overthinking it a little bit too much. Glad, uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, normally, um, a, a lot of times chat's basically so fast that uh, that I've been, all all I can do is respond to chat, and I can't keep up with the guys in Discord, and the guys in Discord are distracting. I think that's normally Anik though, so that's <laughs> that's just all his fault. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, I, I like putting the guys to Discord through. Um, when when there's a lot less going on and I'm not worried about answering as many questions, etc. Stuff like that. <laughs> Probably exactly. It's all your fault. <laughs> oh, jumping the gun a little bit too much. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? <laughs> so once I get a load of corn, where am I headed with the corn? Uh, you're headed to the... Um, to the thing the thing all right um <laughs> you know in the, uh, the, 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 the the place yeah the thing with the stuff yeah tree won't come the, the south the southeast corner of the map okay so we're selling it yeah got it thanks and if it's corn then you go to uh bin three and drive very gentle no handbrake turns in the C70. Uh, have you no. put a C70? Uh, I I would C70 with a gravity wagon on it. I do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Try driving with two of your wheels off uh, in, in the grass. Weird things happen. I think somebody already tested that out, so I'll just drive normally. No bet. Oh, sorry about that, JD. I thought you were done. Just trying to speed up and pull away. All right. Here it is, 2023. Now oh, that's 8. 8 p.m. All right, Kerbo. Do you like my nice easy trail? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, my hotkey for muting isn't working anymore. That's weird. Uh, yeah, I'll have to figure that out later. Normally I have a hotkey for uh, muting when I cough, but... Yeah, the chop straw is not working. Uh, that's the problem with the chop straw. It's just, it's just, it's not working. Um, so this is like leftover from last year or something. I, I don't understand what's going on with the chop straw, really. The front can take a bit more if you fill that up. Oh yeah. Well, uh, I got a few thousand left. <laughs> if you want, if you want a full load on that suicide truck. We'll give you a, we'll give Let's you a full it. load. <laughs> there you go. You have fun. <laughs> How you doing, Tim? <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> Peter, how did the uh, how did the full load on the semi handle? No problem. Really? No problem at all? Uh, I mean, it, it, it struggled, I'm sure, but it, you were fine, right? 
what you're saying. Yeah, he'll struggle, slow down, but it's good. Like, I think it should be like this. Okay. It might go a little bit, little <laughs> bit down on the engine. Because maybe it's overpowered, but I think it's okay at the moment. Well, you can always, uh, you can always switch to the cheaper engine. <laughs> if, you, if you really want to downsize. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, you're but, not even, you're not even there to the elevator yet, so. Well, I'm, I'm just going over the bridge and he's doing up the hill 20, 21. That's okay, that's, that's, that's fine. Quite good. I'm stuck again. Uh, what? You're stuck again? There goes Kerbo. Yep. Yeah. Oh boy. Why are you stuck, Michael? Uh, I was going down the road and it says I've hit a dead end, but I can't reverse out of it. Can you unhook? From the trailer. I'm not even on the trailer. I'm actually the other end now. What do you mean? I bit I bit a dead uh, I bit another dead end and it and it boxed me in. Very confused guys. Can someone else build it? I can. This is all I can handle right now. I can't handle much of anything else. Aha. Uh -huh. I haven't downloaded the update chef yet. I might be getting it. Whoops. Oh, I don't know what to do. The gearbox is big on this truck. I changed it to four gears. <laughs> Isn't it better? <laughs> is it that no. bad? <laughs> It's bad. It's really bad. Well, yeah, it I'm, I'm like yeah it's box. it's hard. It's hard to range four gears properly. Um, I don't know. I, I went from the C65 that I drove. I, I I feel like it it acts pretty good compared to that. But granted, the C70 is different than that, and that's what that truck's supposed to be. So, um, yeah, where's the four the low, which thing. tops at 32, and if I go to Four high, it tops at seventy-five miles Is an hour. Uh, Rob, yeah, the uh, um, Michael. So it's struggling it, a little bit. Well, the <laughs> the way the gearbox works, it's 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 a little. The shift pattern is different than in real life. Um, it, I I mean, as far as I know, there's no way to emulate the gear the gearbox properly to real life. Yeah, probably not. Because in real life, it's uh, one low, one high, two low, two high. Three low, four low, and then you go three high, four high. But that's on the C65 on our transmission. I think you, you said you actually looked. There's a lot of different transmissions there for for that truck, so it's hard to oh, yeah. Do you want me to fix it for you? It's hard to get that properly. Yeah, it, it probably lie. for for gameplay sake, you could probably use five gears. Sorry, saying MP, I didn't hear. How you doing, Tino? Oh. Oh, okay. I'll be back. How you doing, Steve? I uh, I Steve missed you, and I also there. missed uh, Tim. Yeah, things are going things are going well over here. Um, there aren't anything other than ranges and a few gears. Yeah. Rob, what else can I'm missing? Ah, oh, Sim. Yeah. Have you got a link to the Mac B61, the version three, 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 three? Uh, somewhere in the farm discussion. Um, if you it... go to uh, Platinum linked it for me not long ago. Uh, you see the daily uh -huh, post it. at three fifty one. Yeah, I found it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. They're already uh. No, so, yeah, hang on a minute. We, did we not update it from that? No, we update just the XML uh, ah, right. more realistic data. Okay, okay, no worries. Oh, I went the wrong way too. You can't get on the interstate from here. <laughs> I wish we could use the interstate. It would not be good. I I'm need to play so this map more. No, always not drive. Over. No, in in real life, there's no in real life, there's no exit by the elevator. So you'd have to just go from uh, basically Queenwood to Broadway. It it wouldn't. Yeah, it makes no sense to do it on yeah. here. So I just, I just didn't, uh, I just didn't. Can you, uh, can you top me off, JD Tractors, about maybe, uh, yeah, about there. I'm gonna try to. It works better. 
if we can unload going this way, top me off, and then that way I can, uh, I can finish off Cat. Well, not finish her off, but get her pretty full. Yay! I'm on my way back. Aha, there we go. Alright, I... Can I join? So you go ahead and crash into the pit design. Alright, there we go. Just yeah, you should be able to join. Yeah. I'm gonna crash into the ditch anyway. I'm going on the stripe boat, that's me. Alright. Peter, how close are you? Oh, did you just I'm dump right now, just Peter? Left. No, I'm, I just went over the bridge after elevators. Okay. Well, I think, uh, I don't know, this probably won't be a full load for uh, the grain truck then, but it'd probably be better if you take off with whatever I give you here. Right, eh? Do we need to grab another Chevy or what? Um, we have we have the truck stuck. Can you have a look on that, please? Oh, if we have a truck stuck, then yeah, fix that The first. semi, yeah. It's, it's stuck. Oh, we have a semi stuck? Uh-oh. Yeah, Mike right, I'll, I'll try and fix it. Yeah, we're gonna need someone to. <laughs> I like, why can't I find the? I can't find the semi anyway. Michael's in it at the moment. Oh, uh, upper right hand corner of the map. Yep, yeah, field four. Oh, he was stuck coming back home. No, I went to go and pick the trailer up off the bridge. He went wrong way. Do you remember? And then did it uh, again. <laughs> and then he went the. <laughs> <laughs> so we went the wrong way twice. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, okay. Just, just trying, to, trying to understand things. I've just forgotten to do a very important thing before I came on. What's I that? Forgot to plug my I forgot to plug my wheel back in. No, that's not good. No, so I went to turn my steering wheel and the car didn't move. <laughs> Jeez. I'm popping up in the truck anyway. Just gonna... All right. This should be a pretty good load on you, Cat. I think if you enough. want to drive a Chevy, there is a Chevy up here ready to go. In someone else's driveway. Yeah. <laughs> I talked to the yeah. neighbors, they said it was cool. <laughs> better than parking in their grass. Well, we actually do know, yeah, it's much better than parking in their grass. <laughs> we actually do know them in real life. Hope they're not watching, you know? <laughs> well, no, it's okay. They said it was fine. What have you done, Michael? Just gotten stuck. Pretty much, yeah. It's like I'm in a box. Did he even put it in the barrier? He's, no, he's like, against it and his back wheels are moving, but he's just not moving on the ground. Why don't you just reset it then? Hold on, I have an idea. Because I've not got, because I haven't signed up to for admin. Also, you don't want to reset. Um, no, for your it, trailers. It, it, we're not. It, the, his trailer's stuck at a different place. Oh. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> I I guess they totally. I guess I didn't totally understand what was going on. <laughs> yeah. It's the it, it same, I think. I don't know, but that is really weird. Yeah. What is? I reset it by. I reset it. The track only. Yeah, no, I mean, like. Wait, hold on. Let's see him come over if he's not busy. But he's literally just turning on one spot. His wheels are going, but the front end just doesn't want to go. Wait, have you got the handbrake on by any chance? You're in that the corner down there. Yeah. No. You, yeah. You're standing against the straight. Yeah, I have the stack as well up there before. Um, well, if I set it like this. A co like. About the foot of the front end of the truck is past the barrier. Okay, Peter. Like, that's... Well, is he stuck because there's an invisible wall over there? Is that part of the problem? But because of the invisible yeah. wall, he's gone... The f a front, like, foot of the truck has gone through the barrier. Oh, so is he past got... the invisible wall then? Is that the sort of. Like a foot. He's gone in like a foot and now he can't get out. 
Just reset it. And he can uh, go pick up his trailer. Maybe. I think I went the wrong way. How do I get to the co-op? Are we gonna map? give people mobs? Uh, take your left. Take your left and then a right on a dirt road. There's Michael, a dirt do you want road. me to reset it then? Oh, yeah. I, oh the dirt road kind of yeah. follows the interstate for a while. No, it. Uh, it runs parallel to the interstate, but it'll it's it's a it's a right pretty quick. So take a left and then basically take a right right after the dairy is what you're looking at here. Are you oh, at the bottom okay. of the circle road? Thanks. Uh yeah, he he was cat. I was gonna say if he wants to hang on for just two moments, um, I can give him a guide. You can what now? I'm right behind you. Well, not right behind you, but close behind you. Local! Oh my god! What happened? I just got humped you, by a local. Did you bite it again? No, I'm just stuck on his bonnet. Alright, I'm gonna go dump now because I think uh, Peter's probably gonna want a full load. Can you do us a favor and turn the traffic off and back on again? Because I. Seriously! I think someone. You didn't even there. indicate to turn or anything. You just came ramming straight into the side of me. <laughs> yeah, people don't indicate uh, turn signals very well <laughs> here. Yeah, no, apparently not. Could, could, could you reset the traffic? Uh, I think Peter should be able to. Yeah, I'm doing that. Don't worry. Thank you. Oh, you okay now? Yeah. I was just stuck up on his bonnet. He managed to put his bonnet between my truck and my trailer. What is Michael doing then? Michael, do I need to reset it? You're not saying He's much. Michael's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I can reset his truck. And he can go pick up his trailer on the other side of Mum, where he left it. Rod, I don't know if it'd be um, any better if you grab uh, maybe some tillage and you could start uh, tilling the field. Michael, can you jump out, please? How do I do that? Uh, this, will, this will be the first time I've ever did all this. Hook up a hook up a disc to uh, to one of the tractors. Right. Okay. You you can leave the truck. I'd leave the truck here just in case we need it in the in there the future. I park it on the side of it. We're done. Okay. So which disc? The green disc. That's the the disc is the green one. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that way you can, uh, if we need extra support with the truck, you can hop out and uh, get back in the get back in the truck. Yeah, bear with me one minute. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna quit the server, put my wheel back on. And I'll join back because okay. I put it up and I can't yeah, play boy. without. <laughs> yeah, boy, why are you driving so slow? I'm trying to figure out this stupid gearbox. <laughs> ah, right, okay. I finally put it on simple mode. I, I, I turned mine off and said, no give up. <laughs> yeah, it's got like a shift pattern that is, I'm not familiar with, no, never had one like that before. Here, just go around me. So, no, you, no, 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 not at all. Uh, turn left here. That's where traffic stuck. Yeah, every time you reset traffic, and then it, all of a sudden the like cars just stop randomly for no reason. I hate that. Michael, be very careful with the trucks when you don't have trailer there. Uh, sleeping when you're gonna stay like the bit in the corners. Yeah. 
Okay, we, we've got the two uh, Chevys with their grain trucks heading towards the uh, grain bin. I think you might want to. I think really someone cool. might want to turn off traffic because there's a car just stopped in the middle of the road. Every time, for some reason, every time you cycle traffic on a multiplayer map, it just doesn't work. So I, we just got to turn it off permanently now until we restart the server. We taking this dirt road here, Kat? No, no, straight on up, straight on up. Oh, we go across? Alright. Yep. You might want to get all your wheels on the road. There you go. Uh, how much of a load did you have, Peter? I need, uh, I need more. I have 54, 55%. Uh, that's me, I have uh, 24,000. That's me, you can do oh. nearly another 20,000. Is that the kid's brain? Okay. No, I'll go, I'll go unload you now. <laughs> You're good now. And then you want to take that uh, uh, right hand turn ahead of you there. Everybody's driving the Are you still streaming? Yes, we are. I'm just not talking a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just wondering. <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, yeah, I guess you can kind of tell I'm still a little bit out of it. <laughs> uh, here, I'll overtake you, Eric. I'll show you the way. Fine. All right, this that should, should be the all right. This should top I've been off. down here before. I just hadn't taken the, that route around the map. All right, okay, yeah. And we're working from the north side. That's, you that's left really your indicator on. At some point, um, I'm an old man. At some point, <laughs> we're gonna switch over to field 13, or no, I'm sorry, three. Uh, and field three will be, uh, we'll we'll truck that out of the lane from from the farm side. So, uh, just uh, something to kind of keep in mind. Um, let's see how many truckloads. Uh, maybe maybe JD Tractors could try to help us out. Determine how many truckloads we have left in this field. Uh, it's probably at least two, three more, maybe. So maybe by the time Peter comes back, Peter might want to start thinking about. Just check with us. You might want to come back to the farm. I don't know though. Okay. Are you gonna drive it through the waterway to us, or how are you gonna do it? Uh, I'm gonna farm? drive it back to the back to the waterway, basically. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, you get your way. yeah, you it'll take it'll take a little while until uh, he opens it up more. Eventually, you'll you'll be able to come into the field from kind of the south side, turn around, and then uh, line up to head out of the field. But that's gonna take a lot of uh, that's gonna take a lot of corn by the time he gets that opened up to that point. So I don't know. Yeah, Grandpa's eighty, the fun field. <laughs> It's the pit three round the back. Alright. And there goes Peter. Alright, just barely got him, so I didn't have to stop. Just barely. Oh yeah, there's not very many loads out here left. I think actually maybe only one semi truck load. I don't know. I don't know how he's going to approach it. He's going to have to open up a lot of end rows on this side, which is probably another truck load. And then somehow he's going to have to offload onto me before he heads south to the other side of the field, which is going to be almost another load from him. It's, I, ca um, I come it's this way. Here, yeah, I know. I'm looking at settings. Calm down. Him. Oh, come, he's trying to help. Come back same way and I see what you're doing. Yeah, just come back same way and we'll, we'll check. Check it when you get here. Because uh, we actually should be able to fit all of this onto one more. Uh... I should be able to fit the rest of this field on the auger wagon. I'll try not to unload onto that little grain truck. Although I might have to, actually. I think Roger's back or not. Yeah, I'm back. I've got the desk. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to, I mean, if we don't need to take it, you know, there's no sense, uh, there's no sense all floating onto something that's not quite as efficient. Since Cat and Kerbal are... One more way back. Yeah. Or going to the next field, where are we going? Uh, I don't know. I, we're probably going to have to at least one of you come over to this side because it's going to take a little doing uh, until we can get over to the other side. So it's kind of landlocked at the moment, and we're probably not going to drive around on the road um, since he can open it up from this end. So I'll probably need to offload on at least one truckload from this side. Thank you, thank you. So it, um, so what I'm trying to explain, I guess, is at least one person come back this way. I'm and then coming. Maybe the other person, uh, since you and Kerbal are right next to each other, one, one come back this way and the other person go all the way around and park in the waterway. So that way, if he makes it to the other end but he's full and I'm not there, he can offload onto a truck maybe somehow. I don't know, it's kind of landlocked. Um, it might be easier if uh, he goes over to the northwest corner of field three and opens it from there. But uh, I'll leave that to JD Tractors. Oh yeah, check out my speed. So, Sam, do you want me to I do mean, the north, one on the corner? Northwest. Field? Um, the I wouldn't mind driving the combine. I always have more fun driving the combine. Michael, yeah, let's how let's you swap. Doing? Let's swap. I'll be fine. Not stuck again, but I'm actually stuck on the trailer. Yeah, Sam, gonna... is it in the uh, cornfields? You want me to do the discin? What's that? You know you said about the green desk? Yeah. Uh, the cornfields or...? Yeah, do the cornfields. Alright, uh, brilliant. I think we have to reset Michael because he can't get out and... No, um, I would... Uh, JD, I would keep the auger on this side. I have a... Uh, you should have a... Uh, either Cat or Kerbo is coming back this way. Uh, and then until we get things opened up and hauling fully from the other side of the field, you'll probably have to dump on, run the auger back here temporarily. Uh, but I think it would be faster for everybody if we have the long-term plan of unloading the the field basically from the south side, the waterway that's kind of right in the middle of the, the field number three. I think that's the, that's the better plan. But of course we gotta get there. Yeah, the Mac didn't have the Mac didn't have. Uh, um, I would say, um, Cat's the closest. So Cat, you come this side. Kerbal, you go to the other side. So Kerbal basically go back to the farm and come into the waterway to field three. Okay. I am gonna open up this field just a little bit. Yeah, the Mac didn't have a Maddie. The Mac didn't have quite enough power. We 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 upgraded the engine just a little bit. We kind of just cheated with the with the straight up upgrade. Um, let's see. I think. Actually, since uh, hey JD, since uh, Cat's gonna be a while, can you come follow me down? Um, and that way I can get the field opened up at least a little bit. Yeah, sorry to change my mind. <laughs> um, I think if I can, uh, I can open up the corner just enough to, to turn around and um, get you a load. Or I'd be able to unload is what I'm saying. I'm going to go down here and uh, I, should, I should have enough room to turn around. That's the plan at least. Um... Pretty good line, actually. So uh, let's go over just slightly. No, that way. Okay. I hope. Yeah, I should have plenty of room here. <laughs> I did. I did. Yeah. The gearbox was also kind of messed up, but that truck just had absolutely no power. Um. I mean, yeah, you could argue, yeah, I know it's not really made for hauling uh, how many tons of grain that we had, but I don't know. I, I think, 
uh, it's just, you know, there's a, there's always a compromise be, between realism and gameplay for me, and, uh, I mean, I like things to feel real, so I want it to feel like we're driving an old truck, um, yeah, if you just, like, uh, stop about there, JD, I'm gonna open up just a few end rows, and then we should be able to unload, um, should be able to have enough room to unload here. So this is gonna be a little bit ugly. We're gonna have to knock down just a little bit of corn here getting into the field, but, okay. So here's how we do this. If you imagine that we had end rows planted there, like it actually looks like they're layered properly, but then we're gonna have to kind of eat into our other rows and just kind of work in gradually. It's gonna knock out, knock over some corn. I think JD will be able to get out and pick up the corn that I knocked over. He's gonna throw it back into the combine for me. So then at least we're uh, not wasting anything. Unless the combine runs it over, then you can't really save that. But there we go. So now we have uh, two full rows. That gives me enough room. I should be able to turn around now. And there we go. It's being a, being a wonderful chap there. <laughs> um, let me go. Let's see. Do you want me to come and meet you by the corner of 4, 10, and 3? Uh... Go back to where you were before, Cat. I am where I am before. Okay. Yeah, just okay. just stay there. He'll be there to offload you. Um, I think one load of that should basically do it. And so now we have enough room for uh, JD to turn around and should be able to offload here. Here we go. So now we should have enough room. Uh, it'd be a little bit tricky, but we could actually do it from like there. Oh, no, we can't. And How's it going, everyone? How you doing? Who just uh, who just hopped in? I didn't see your name. Hi, Trucker Matt. You're a friendly everyday truck driver. Oh, Trucker Matt, how you doing? I'm all right. Just sitting here uh, driving up by 90 on the tollway, headed out of Chicago. Oh, good old I. <laughs> You know, before they had I-Pass and Easy-Pass or whatever they use in Chicago, I, it was always probably the worst thing about driving to Chicago is they have like 20 different toll roads on the interstates and they all have those stupid little change things that you have to have exact change for and then you throw it into a little bin and sometimes like you, you drop a quarter or sometimes you like it doesn't count right and then you have to throw more change in or if you don't have the proper change for Chicago then it's, then it's bad, it's just bad. Well, okay. I found an easy solution for my personal vehicle. All right, JD, I thanks. Just, I just run to the uh, toll booth, and you know, they send me a bill in the mail. I mail it in. Oh, it is pay by mail? Well, that's how Texas does it. I didn't know that. Yeah, they switched over a couple years ago. I think you got seven days to pay. Oh, well, that's nice. All right, uh, Kerbo, are you back home with the farm uh, down in the waterway yet? I'm pulling up to the farm now. You said by field three? Yeah, head up to the south side of field three. I'm going to try to make it to the waterway. I don't know if I can. If okay. I can't, then I'm uh, <laughs> then I'm kind of in trouble. Where you want me to go then? Uh, you come back home as well. I, I, I think everybody everybody can come home from now, from now on. I think that'll be fine. I think uh, 84%. Ooh it off there i don't know how you doing harry king <laughs> i'm trying to see if we can make this we're at 90 percent the yield's just too darn good i don't know if we can we're at 93 94 95 96 we're done oh, so close where are you going the end is in sight i got a focus where are you going I'm going to go down to this trailer. Oh. Sounds like y'all are having fun. I, uh... Yeah, opening up new fields is always fun. How are you doing, Harry King? If I, did, I, I think I said hi. I just uh, didn't really talk to you too much. Um, 
Well, I guess I can go back to the other side of the map and open up the other side. Tino's got a problem. Uh oh. Decision, decisions. Well, I mean, the, generally, the combine's slower. He. I think I'll let uh, JD come to me. Combine's generally the slowest thing. So, generally, you let the, the other thing no come to you. No one saw my speed, I hope. <laughs> Nearly 70. 70? On the old Mac? Well, you were empty, though. Yeah, uh, no, up the hill. Now it's slowing down. That's a bit... It's a bit too fast, really, isn't it? Alright, I think it's if I park it right here, JD should be able to get to me. And then, unfortunately, I couldn't quite make it to Kerbo. And <laughs> Kerbo will be able to see... He'll be able to see, like, I almost made it. Like, maybe if I just stretch my auger out and it's four times as long, I'd be able to make it. <laughs> uh, but not quite. <laughs> it's just, it's right, like so it's, where do you want me to go? Just park right there in the waterway. Um, you'll be able to have room to turn around. I'm, I'm going to open up the rest of the end rows. You'll be able to turn around and uh, kind of face basically opposite where you are now, just into the field. Um, it's the next okay. right. Michael, next right. Okay, go to the next junction. And uh, okay, fine. basically, once we get there, um, you'll be able to. Yeah. Actually, while we're. Uh, I might as well. Um, I might as well shuck uh, 12 rows down while I'm here in the end rows. Yeah, you said shuck. Yeah. How much I'm, are we looking at at the moment? Mate. Now you're going right, Michael. I'm hoping he can make this turn. Might have to... That's... Oh, oh, I think you just had my corner. I'll, I'll move to you, that's fine. Okay, oh, next one. You just carry on all the way and you go left. Next one, Michael. There we go. It's left and then it's right, you know? Yeah. Hey, you see stop Mew and Troll in the house. Hey, hey, Mew. Or were you trying to say neutral, Henry? <laughs> we got a mutual. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's a mutual? It's not kind That's of a Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> That's a Pokemon. Yeah, we both well, made that joke. I thought, a, I thought a troll's a troll. Like, don't they have a movie for trolls? Something like that. Yeah, yeah so it, it, trolls are actually things that live under a bridge. Yep. <laughs> right. No, they have different colored air. Yeah, see? Michael does what I'm talking no, about. No, they're the ones you put a pencil up their palm. What? You're talking about different what? ones. What? An actual troll. An actual troll is a, a thing that just like a monster that lives under a bridge. Well, the, I think the trolls that they're going on about are the ones that have really well, weird... Yeah, I mean, if actual trolls don't exist, right? <laughs> I mean, if you want to, if you want to try to be factual about it. <laughs> well, I know a few. Yeah. They call me sea trolls. No, but I mean, like, that's where the actual term comes from. It is from an old story. So, yeah. Who, I have who, no idea. who first came up with the Michael, term troll? Going left. You know what surprises me though? Who came up with every single word in a language and gave it a meaning? Like, what if? They didn't, and every word that we're speaking now means totally different things. Well, that's what different languages Sorry. mean. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You go over a bridge and you go right, Michael, okay? Behind the no, so we didn't I mean, have the English word language. for orange for, until like 1600s, even though we used to eat oranges occasionally. But now, right, Michael. I mean, like, simulation could mean a, di a totally different thing. You know, that means like every word that's been made has been given a meaning by someone and had to go through approvals. But what if no one ever did that in the first place? And when they did, they were every word was different in like English and every other language. Well, you wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> well, no, that's what I mean. Yeah, no, this is true. My, my partner's uh, English major, and she, um, she well, one of her study course like studies that she had to do for a course was the anthropology anthro anthropology of words so seeing like where and how words come from and how they're generated and stuff like that it's quite fascinating actually 
No. <laughs> I'm right behind you, my Say well, Bob, but two. Yeah, I just I just saw that tick over to Anik. Uh, my fuel's now in the red. I got about 100 liters left of fuel. I'm gonna need someone to go grab a truck with the, the fuel to let me refill. I'll be the nice person and I'll go into it myself because I'm in the field, so I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's not the nice person, you just want a different job. <laughs> well, Michael, Michael, get on the other no, side I'm of the road. I'm taking the time out of disc in the field. <laughs> to come and give you fuel first, mate. Why? You're um, trying, you're trying to fight with a semi with that little truck. Hey, this truck can almost carry as much as you. Actually, Same. just about have yeah yeah. What's up? I, I'm standing on the field. Well, close to the field. Why is it seven? Is that okay? I'm very confused. Why does the fuel pump all the way out into the tanks instead of actually what going in? It says end fuel pumping, but for some reason, it won't let me f fill the tool. It just emptied the entire thing. That's weird. You're on the wrong trigger, probably. You might be. Yeah, that's for the empty now, probably. I was parked in front of it. Like, in the front next to the actual gas meter, not inside. Try go more forward. Yeah, no, it's working. No, it's like I emptied it, and then I could just refill it straight away, which is weird. Okay. And, and anyway, Michael, it's not the size of your truck, it's how you drive it. It's not the size of your truck, it's how you use it. Yeah. Uh, and that says... Uh, that, that's coming from somebody that rides a two-wheeler. Oops. Alright. Case sensitive. Yeah, Kerbal, you could actually... Um, it might be easier uh, if you... If you basically... Until I get it opened up more, basically line up like right... Yeah, that, that would work too. That's just harder for the auger wagon to turn around. Um, like Wait, you it? basically line up, line up in a row right where I'm at, only straight behind me. Uh, so that way the auger wagon can run up alongside you and uh, dump there. Well, that might be easy. Come back to me. But this, okay, yeah, I was testing away. out the turn radius. I can't, can't quite make it without running into this other crop. Okay. Um, actually, I think I'm going to... I'm just going to go finish it up, open up the rest of the field. I'm, I'm gonna turn around and I'll be back up there. Alright. And where does semi go? What in? No no no, I asked him the same, bro. Uh go 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 where Kerbo's at. Go where Kerbo's at. I think okay. I think nobody needs to go back up to the other side now. So everybody go to the base where Kerbo's at. Do we have crane. a crane? Why do we need a crane? <laughs> what? Because what? I'm on my side. <laughs> Oh, oh no! <laughs> not another load. <laughs> no, I've not, lo I've not lost a load. Cause it's covered over. It says I, that I'm on the side. I thought you knew this in real life, Michael. We had to reset a load, didn't we? <laughs> How did you not make it? How did you manage to overturn the truck? I ever took you on the dirt track road. There's nothing in between here and there that's a hazard. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Eat it, talk! <laughs> now! You're a truck driver! You're a truck driver in real life! How <laughs> <laughs> is this a thing that's happening? I'm really gonna tell y'all how to drive Welcome. Hey guys, quiet. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, Jake, uh, Jake to, uh, to the multiplayer bandits. Thanks for subscribing. Um, I'm not sure why you subscribe, but. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> no, just having a little bit of fun here. People are uh, having some problems. Sounds like we got a mouth breather on the, uh, the microphone. Try not to try not to breathe in the mouth, guys. Remember, you can uh, you can adjust your noise activity level, your voice activity level in Discord settings. If uh, if it's going off when you don't want it to go off when you're not actually talking, that's something you can adjust. And let me know if uh, let me know if mine ever needs adjusting on Discord as well because. It's a different setting, basically, than uh, than goes through oh, to wait. the stream. So you're too loud. Oh. <laughs> I think Stop. I noticed what it was though. It's like every time I like lean down, it's like my microphone or my headset just decides to like pop up one. Oh, mark, is it? And is it you? 
<laughs> I think it was. I don't know if it was that time because I checked my mic. My mic was all the way down, and it was yeah. muted, so probably me. I mean, if you want to be. <laughs> That's what usually happens. If you want to be super proud about it, go push the top. That's well, what yeah. I do. Then you yeah. don't yeah. get to hear any of my weirdness. Um, Michael, I, I, I'm not even sure how. You're past the, the turning. How did this happen? <laughs> Actually, let's go. I mean, it's fabulous, but, like, we are never getting that turned over. Oh, boy. Well, well that, you'll see how it happened, mate. Well, no, you won't, because there's skid marks on that. There was a skid mark right across the bus there. I bet there's a skid mark in your underwear right now. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> Hold on, I need to I need to approve a comment. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Sim, uh, whenever you're ready, I got the fuel waiting for you. All right, I'm gonna be. I'll be right back there. I, I would help you, Michael, but there is literally nothing I can do here. So I think there's three rows to the I left. That's it's a shame because you can see you can see the green silos from here. <laughs> oh no, he's that close. Yeah, no, we're, yeah, gonna lose. Gonna lose. Oh, we're gonna lose 30. Oh, hey, Michael's not as bad as what I did yesterday though. I literally, as I got into the silo entrance, I tipped it the truck right upside down. Don't ask how, but I don't know. Sorry, Michael. Uh, I'm leaving you now. There's nothing I can do to help you. Oh man. Yeah, that's gonna need reset. It, 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 like, I mean, I could try with the. Uh, no, the, loader, it's not uh, even. It's not I worth it. Jump out, if a front loader can't tip I over a Chevy, done it. don't worry, I already reset it. I yeah. mean, it can tip over a Chevy. I've done it. So it's a full loader, but... no doubt. Yeah, Trust me, I've me and Peter tried it for like 45 minutes yesterday to try and tip it back over. It didn't work. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of weight. If it was empty, probably, but... Oh, yeah, if it was empty. Full, no. Not at home. <laughs> yeah, my Alicia still holds the record for tipping a semi within three feet of starting. <laughs> that, I don't think that'll ever be broken. <laughs> Never, <How>? ever. <laughs> I must miss that one then. I, yeah, that was on uh, that was on the thousand subscriber episode. I I didn't I, I cut that part of it out. I showed other shenanigans. Basically, it was it was too far off my screen by the time I uh, saw it. But that one's uh, yeah, that was pretty crazy. <coughs> Bro, do you want to top my fuel as well? Up. Go for it. I'll pop over. I'll drive over to you. Be there. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need uh... Because <laughs> if I park here, it might work correctly, because then Sim could just pull up next to me. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Alright. Michael, your truck is ready here. Huh? <laughs> oh boy. So am I not going up on the road now? Am I heading just straight ahead? Uh, you can, yeah, head 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 home. Uh, if okay. anybody if anybody has um some spare time, I don't. Do we still have corn at the farm? We could probably oh, yeah. spare a truck yeah. while while I'm getting things uh, opened up here. We could probably spare a truck to go there and. Um, And then take a, take a couple meters. loads out of that. I guess I'm here. I'll just keep going a little bit. One hundred, one no sixteen. Oh my god! So much we have on there. Michael, are you gonna drive the other semi or not? I'm in it. Okay. Can you go pull up on the farm silo and take it to to the elevators? Well, oh, uh, maybe that's jumping the gun. This Kerbo's oh, I'm, uh, probably going to be full. You're going to be, that. yeah, maybe maybe he could do that. I think he can do that. Oh, you on the way back? Are you? Yeah, I'm at the crossroads. 
turning into the main road by the farm. Let me get some fuel I real quick. I don't know what it's called. Oh, wait, where's the fuel pump? Isn't that... Uh, just drive it down to the end of the fuel rod. I think that'll be easier. We'll let, uh... Yeah, go forward, I need to. Yeah, we'll I could use fuel too, but I couldn't get it to come up. Yeah, it's in, uh... Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of the, the field service trailer. That one's different. Isn't it off to the side on the of that one, though, side. as well? Yeah, it's on one of the sides. Left side. <laughs> Hello! Um... Arm, arm team's boy. back. Yeah, arm, you never, you never, you never answered my question that I saw from like, I think the first time you ever joined my stream. Do you, do you pronounce it arm or A R M? I assume arm because it's like an acronym, so you can. I don't know. Who's joining? I just, just want to make sure I say that right. Uh, I don't know, but uh, currently Mark's oh, not uh, not on the server. Arm, uh, no gearbox. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. I mean, these, these uh. That's fine, don't worry. Okay. Let me uh, back up to you then. Uh, right there. Nope. I was on a... Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. Nice. Thank you. Tino just turned up. What do you want him to do? Um, I just realized I can't turn my HUD off. <laughs> well, we can have uh, we can have someone... Um, we can have someone disking over on... Uh, what was that? Field 4 and 11. Um, we could have, uh, I mean, if, if we wanted to finish emptying out the, uh, sell all the rest of the corn, we could have another truck, uh, latch onto the, you know, haul, haul out of the home silo for a little bit. Um, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I actually saw that episode over on the squad. The cops and if you've got no in-game sound, Tino, then, um. Just change the master volume up and then put it back to whatever it was. Just change the master volume and then put it back. Arm, like army without the Y. Yeah, arm. Okay, we're calling Mythos. Okay, Mythos. Arm team is the modern team. I know about Mark isn't here, but I like <laughs> Yeah, I like I like Mark a lot. Uh, that's one of those... Uh, Viewers? Um, it's one of those YouTubers that I never get to, uh, do have your... get to watch enough of. Uh, um, yeah, the actually I don't really like gearbox on the combine because I don't think it is realistic. Because uh, I mean, yes and no. Uh, combine oh, like uh, uh, fuel rod. The hy hydrostatic transmission. They do have gears, so to speak, where like point? it's like it's like one, two, or three. But typically, when you're in the field, it's always in gear two for our combine our uh, John Deere 9510. You only put it in three when you're traveling on the road. Uh, other than that, I don't think I've ever had it in gear three. So it's, it's always number two. Uh, so that, you know, for that reason, a CVT feels a little bit more realistic than the gearbox uh, to me, just because it's- Can you not get the fuel of that? Gearbox is kind of weird. I'm not getting it come up with refuel. Tino, you can just uh, watch the stream. Oh, well, it doesn't have volume. Yeah, I guess he still doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work for me either. I don't know if the truck's broken. Or... In the C70, I couldn't get the fuel icon to come up. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. neither did I. They're on uh, the wrong side. You need to go on the left side of the trailer. Okay, that's not easy to do, though. Hold on. I can probably get it in there. Hold on. Come back, uh, come back this way with me. We're going to open up oh. an end row. Uh, nothing yet, but let me. Oh, reversing this thing's just not the thing. Yeah, don't reverse it. Just go straight and then line it up. Um, I. Uh, Tim's asking, do you uh, control combine with a joystick or a foot oh pedal? Um, oh yeah. I, I, I think they're putting foot pedals in everything nowadays. So I, I don't really know with modern combines, but I know with ours, it's a, it's a, uh, it, it's. I, mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call it a joystick, yeah, but it's, it's kind of like a joystick. Anything, it's, it's, yeah, it's here. a joystick. Hold on. It's just a little. I'll, I'll go uh, a bit further away. It's just a little lever you move forward or back based on how slow or fast you want to go. It's uh, hydrostatic yeah, transmission. They don't have pedals on modern combines yet. They, they don't have pedals either. Yeah, I've never. No, I uh, had just, a brand new Case 9240 uh, we picked up last year, and it was still the same hydrostat as the old 1680s I drove. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I wonder why they, I don't know, they put pedals in tractors, but not really combines, it's weird. 
Yeah, but with and, tractors, you have you have a gear transmission with throttle and everything with the combine. You. Oh, that's right. It's still not. Yeah, it's still not a hydrostatic. Yeah, so it's the same old hydrostatic transmission. That makes sense. Yeah. So like Hang what on, I and, use. And, and, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think something might flash. Uh. Let me get closer. Yeah, it's even, uh, I don't know, I, I know like, <laughs> I drove one of my neighbor's tractors once, he's like, like, Daniel, you don't have to use the clutch. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean I don't have to use the clutch? I have to use the clutch. I don't care if you have to use the clutch or not. Sir. I have to Should use the clutch. <laughs> yeah, hold on. If you just go straight, I'll turn around. I'll try to. I think, uh, oh, JD, I'll... I think I'm going to try going all the way and uh, open up the entire field. Just get it done with, so I'm going to need you down there at some point. That black pickup's nice, isn't it? I like it. Yep. Is that it smells the good too. Uh, the 6810 somewhere because someone was stuck, so it's it's somewhere. Yeah, I mean that's another job. If someone has time, they could. Um, they could tidy up some loose, uh, some loose ends yep, there. Yeah, okay, nothing this side either. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah. you were, you were asking about the throttle. That's, that's basically the throttle there, right there. And so, uh, the fuel tank's there. <laughs> so, one second, let's, uh, let's unload here. I'm confused. Because, Katrina, yes. the fuel tank is right there. Uh, I'm there. I pulled up yesterday without problem with the with the thing. Operator error. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. So let's uh, look back here in the combine here. So this is uh, now I've never been in this combine, but I'm guessing that's probably the uh, the joystick that controls the speed uh, for the hydrostatic mm -hmm. transmission. Uh, you've got uh, one, two, and three on there. I'm guessing that. Probably the same as it is uh, on our older combine for one, two, and three gears. We have actually, uh, I don't know if you've seen any of my older videos from Tazewell County, but you can see a little knob uh, up there in the far corner, the far right hand corner of the cab, like basically all the way up there next to the glass. That's actually we where the our gear would, shifter yeah. is for one, two, and three gears. But then we still have the throttle. It's basically right there on the same, on the same, uh, on the same spot. And then they, they also have typically um, like header controls. So it's right there on the throttle for raising and lowering your head, adjusting the, the head speed. So, you know, not to be the cylinder speed. Those are those are over there somewhere. Oh, well, not on this combine. I don't know. There's a bunch of other different combinations over there. I, I would be willing to bet that everything's probably touchscreen operated from this combine. All the all the settings for cylinder speed and... Um, hey, don't push me, Michael. I don't want to wreck. Thanks. Is Michael trying to push you somewhere? <laughs> Just stay on the road, Michael, please. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see 70 struggles on some of the hills. Uh, on uh, Tim, on a, on a combine, it doesn't actually have a clutch. It has a left brake, a right brake, which you lock together whenever you drive on the road. Um, but the... Uh, yep. You know they are. The, the hydrostatic transmission, you just put it down there in the middle spot, and that stops you. Uh, and unless you're on a really steep hill, it's it's like neutral, basically. Um, you have a parking brake up there if you're on a hill, but um, that's that's how you stop a, a combine base. You don't, you don't need a clutch with a hydrostatic transmission. Uh, it's basically just... Um, I actually haven't looked it up recently, but it, it, it's basically hydraulic fluid uh, that it uses to control the speed of the combine it's not an actual um it's not like an actual i mean i guess they do have a couple different gears that they can change but it's it's not like a standard transmission it's not quite as powerful if i understand correctly which is why they don't uh they don't use it on other tractors but i think they here do, don't forget this more realistic don't go very fast in the corners yes do not go fast I think that answered your question, Tim. Uh, so 
told me to remove that keyboard steer thing. It's M. It's moving. But it's on the Oh, key, yeah, it was talking about M. that. I don't understand that feature, to be honest. Yeah, I don't... I'm, I'm trying to think, does anything act like that? No. Mm -hmm. Comes in handy in certain applications. Oh, like if, uh, like if you're on a quad track or something with articulated. That's probably really handy for that. On a keyboard and mouse? That or a steering sense. wheel. Yeah, or a steering wheel, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 I, I found that it comes in handy when you're trying to cut your name in cursive in a wheat field or something. <laughs> 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 well, hopefully nobody's doing any of that on this map. <laughs> No, my grandfather wasn't too happy with me when I tried that. <laughs> I got I got fired from the lawnmower when I tried to do that with the lawnmower. That's when that's when I got you know I was like I don't know seven or five or something. But that's when mom was like Daniel, this is a tool. You were, it's a it's a privilege to it's a privilege to drive a riding lawnmower. Like we're gonna stick you back on the push mower now. <laughs> 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 so my brother got to drive sit and sit and drive the driving lawnmower. I was stuck on the riding lawnmower. Or the, uh, the push mower. Yeah, that so would have been me. Well, it's more fun. Oh. I'm like, I'm like, you yeah. know, like, in my head I remember thinking, well, what does it matter? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and cut it all eventually anyway. <laughs> I, I would have got in trouble because I probably would have drawn a giant willy. <laughs> It's an art form. Exactly. Did you see those um, guys uh, flying FA 18s last year? <laughs> using the, yep. the using their yeah. contrails yeah. to draw a yeah. giant picture in the sky. Yeah. yeah. Clap, clap, clap that man. <laughs> we were. Uh... <laughs> hey Rod, you see that? <laughs> Tino's, Tino's, that asking the, Tino's asking the same question. That wasn't me then. Just oh, that wasn't me. Guys. No, because I was gulping my mouth and liquids. I can, so. uh, hold on. I can pull up Discord and I can see whose, whose voice it is. <laughs> you have to be Everyone really careful now. <laughs> now nobody's going to do anything. Not me. I use push to mute. <laughs> By me. When I don't speak, my mic's been put back. Yeah, but your mic is very sensitive for some reason. Oh, is it him? Rod's the yeah, only it... No. Yeah, but we heard the noise. Change your, you can change your voice activity. Rod. Yeah, it's not Tino. <laughs> yeah, one more set of end rows to open up here on uh, this end of the field, and then we're, we're good to go here. And then, uh... So the plan, I talked to myself and uh, YouTube here. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go down here. We're gonna finish opening up the uh, the end rows, and then uh, as long as I'm empty, I'm going to um, I'm gonna cut a path along the uh, yeah. I'm gonna cut a path along the middle of the field. Um, kind of kind of separate it we'll work out from there so we should have room for that um you guys get an fps decreasing <laughs> no i don't i don't laugh about, is it? I, I i didn't know it is you rod it is you i just saw it i didn't put it down all the way down then don't blame me for that i was in the middle of putting it down Maybe you need a uh, maybe you need like a windscreen on your mic or something. I could just turn the game down a bit. Or just push it away from you, where you have your mic. <laughs> it's it's a your solid mouth. mic. Yeah, <laughs> Tino, 
<laughs> I say it's not me. I'm on a Bluetooth headset with push to talk on my phone. Stop yeah. trying to eat it. <laughs> See you uh, one sec, let me get OBS back and let me get chat back. Uh, how you doing? Uh, how you doing, Scorpion? <laughs> uh, we're uh, we're trying to get this field open up. We got just a little bit more end rows, and uh, JD comes alongside me and makes sure I am empty when I finish this little set of end rows. Then I'm gonna cut a swap through the the middle of the field. Well, not cut. It's more like shucking a. Chucking, chucking some rows right to the middle of the field. and You could actually follow me, and we probably have enough to fill up that truck then at that point. Um, so, yeah, this will be the last set of end rows going this way. <laughs> yeah, you should pay. You should pay. Madalisha says you should pay your employees better if they start eating their mics already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that better? Uh, so yeah, far. Yeah, it's definitely better. Yeah, yep. yeah. I haven't changed anything. <laughs> well, it's in position of the mic. I did say so far. <laughs> yeah, so far. Time will tell. But I mean, even on the Discord itself, the actual input sensitivity is basically what? It's at minus 30 uh, dB. Oh. Yeah, it's, mine's at like be lower. minus 30 or 40. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. obviously far too sensitive. Let's go lower. Try lower a little bit more. Well, no, because then I have to literally shout. Don, we hear you very well. We just hung a real far. How you doing, B BBS, BBS, B D T, B B. <laughs> I'm not That's sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, thanks for subscribing. <laughs> I just, I don't try to put your names on purpose. Oh, that was ugly. I thought it was lined up. When her dad tries to communicate Jayla with these weird hands. <laughs> I, I worked for, I worked for a farmer for a little bit. They did that. And then the, the worst part was, it's like when, when you don't understand them, they get mad. <laughs> and then, then they do. They do the hand signs like worse. <laughs> it's like, well, that's not gonna help. <laughs> yeah, Rod. Oh. I don't know. I don't know why. It's like wh when you laugh. Like when you laugh, it's like all they hear is breathing. I. It's like. Yeah. It's not when you normally talk. It's. I don't know for that's whatever weird. reason. It's when you do other things. I don't know. Just that's really push talk. Just put push talk. It will be fine. Yeah. We that, all of them using push that, that, really. That, that'd be great, especially for the stream. Um, I'll, you know, I'll just pop my mic up, and if I need to <laughs> say something, I'll do it. It's fine. <laughs> okay, that, I guess that's kind of push the talk. <laughs> it basically it's, is, it's, in a way, like, it's, I can it's just touch it on to, my headset. Yeah, move, instead move of, to talk. <laughs> <laughs> instead of just having to, like, literally lean forward just to touch my keyboard, just to unmute myself. Where you is put it on your steering wheel. Tim, I don't know where Cat's at. Um, I'm I'm waiting for a load. Oh, that's yeah, Cat waiting for a load. Okay, Woo. got it. Got it. Kerbal's on his way back. All right, I'm gonna turn around. I think. Uh, oh no. Change traction to 81 percent. I don't know if he could offload me a little bit before he goes and unloads on the Cat. That'd be beneficial to me uh, to keep the combine moving. Sim, is there an issue with the Chevy for refueling? The what? With the Chevy. What do you mean, is there an issue? Yeah, I'm on the problem with refueling it from the uh, truck. I don't know. Yeah, I couldn't get it to work either. Michael go. Might be a trigger oh. issue or something. I didn't test that when I would. That, that wasn't pretty. Tried what wasn't pretty? Hush, Hush cat! <laughs> it's like, what happened? <laughs> I, I only I only anything. took out like one or two bean stalks. That's it. It was like one or two. Mm -hmm. It was like it was like one plant, and in reality, 
it, they don't disappear. I, you kind of push it back into the other crops, so it should, it should have worked. Uh, traffic is off because it was stopping. Um, we, we had to reset it, and whenever you reset traffic, it kind of just like stops in the middle of the road when they respawn, Base. and then they never Basically. start again. I, I don't know why. Cut crushing to one of the locals and they die a minute to reset it. <laughs> what? They didn't die. Well, they were well, just going to use lag spike. Serious but. injury. They didn't kill anyone. Just right. me. It's going to be a really quick top off. And I don't know if this was more efficient or less efficient. It's probably actually less efficient because now it's going to take you longer to turn around and I'm still going to stop. I don't know. You can, uh, you can just stop and back up uh, if that's too hard. Uh, he's probably going down to the end. Yeah, that didn't work either, Rod. Okay, I'll have to try and figure it out. Except now you've parked that right in front of me and I can't reverse this thing. Same. Yeah. Important question. Did you What's see the up? price of the corn? No, why? Because it's bad. How bad? <laughs> In the right, 200. You're uh, not getting any money. That's not that's not that bad. Well, it is bad from yesterday. What was it yesterday? Well, yesterday I heard really? there was a great there was a great demand, right? Yeah, yeah it was, it was over well. 300. Yeah. Yeah. So what what is it without? Oh, what is it without the great demand? Now it's, two, now it's 200, normally it's like 219, 220, something like that, between that. But now yeah, it's going to I mean, the it, right. it, it, typically goes, it typically goes south in the fall anyway, so that's fine. Keep selling it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I mean, eventually, eventually, we'll, eventually we'll store some more. Um, eventually we'll work on storing some more so we can sell it in the... Like in the summer, in the, the spring, when it's more expensive. But uh, I think for now, I think for now we'll just sell it all so we can try to buy another field and keep expanding our farm. I think that's the that's the goal for right now. Welcome, Adam Stocke Stockdale Stockdale Stockdale. Right? I need to get new glasses. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, how do I cultivate field four? Uh, press V to lower the cultivator. <laughs> I don't. I'm not sure what you're asking there, Tino. He Wait. doesn't know where to start or where, or how to do it. Oh, whether to you go north or south or east or yeah. west or whatnot. Yeah. Oh. And? Yo, that's ugly. Uh, what, the field? No, I'm knocking over corn. It's not actually knocking the corn over, which is Hades, odd, though. Well, it would. The, the head the head would be knocked over. Yeah, of course it would. It'd be making a giant mess of the place. <laughs> Am I coming back to the waterway at field three? <laughs> I love how you guys always quote my uh, quote my sayings. Uh, someone needs to start making a book. <laughs> um, yeah, come back come back to where you were last time, Turbo. Um, the book of sin. <laughs> Excuse me. I need to change my. I don't know why my hotkey from Mute's not working. Sorry about that, YouTube. Uh, at some point here, I'm gonna have to stop myself and. Um, uh, sorry. Bye, cat. Bye, bye. Uh, one second. Uh, yeah. Uh, so. So field four, uh, field four is yes, north to south. Um, yes, field four is north to south. And actually, if you want to, if you want to, uh, field four should have been soybeans, but someone planted it wrong. So actually, field four is going to be corn next year, uh, so we get back on the right schedule. 
to actually, if you want to skip cultivating field four, because that's going to need the, uh, the anhydrous ammonia tanks on it. So if you want to skip four and work on 11 instead, right? 11? Yeah, 11. Uh, I would I would work on 11. It was like ages since anyone's played with um, androgynous harmonicas. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I'd just start with 11, you know. And remember when you, uh, I'm sure you already know this, but whenever you cultivate, you, uh, you do the, you do the main north-south direction first, and then you, you come over the end rows and you, you cultivate them last. And I'm probably gonna, just like clown, exactly. Just like clown. Uh, just remember there is about, uh, two combine header widths of field that is still on this side that that's still on this side of the um it still belongs to field three uh so it's basically right at the tree the tree is perfectly uh the start of field 11 that's exactly where you want to start well of course leave room for the end rows as well but um i mean you can kind of see if you judge based on the, oh they planted it wrong too never mind I was going to say look at those rows for planting for that, yeah, but they, they planted it east to west. That's okay. Live and learn for next year, right? <laughs> uh, uh, you're fine. You're good. Uh, North-south. Yeah, you're fine, Tino. Just like that. So I have a silly question, not playing much multiplayer. I can't yes. buy fuel, right? Uh, you have to go to the northeast corner um, where the, uh, what's it called is, uh, Tremont Oil Company. That's their gas station. But if he needs fuel, I've just filled up the actual fuel station from I'm doing runs back and forth. Oh, the is there a way. tank on the farm? Right. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's a tank I'll on the farm. Time. Thanks. The, I thought we were quite low. There was only 2,007 liters in there, so I've already done one load. Nice. Get that. Filled up. Do we have a semi back and a, a truck trailer combo waiting on us now? Yeah. Yes. Half a truck trailer combo. This is much half easier half. run because you go straight and uh, and straight down. I'm not going by the the truck or anything. You know, where we get stuck first time. Yeah. The big hill. Do you, do you stop at the stop sign? How does it how does it work there coming up up that hill? Yes, I do stop sometimes. It works very slowly. <laughs> I, I, that's not what I asked. I just asked does it work does it work well enough yeah, coming does, up boy. the hill on the other side from the stop. Yeah, it's got enough power. So yeah. like, it's a little rough in the Chevy but you can make it in low gear. With a, with a full load. Am I the only one who takes the dirt road still? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, before they, uh, it's about the same right now, but before they put in that, uh, before they put in that stop sign, you, you wanted to avoid the dirt road. Unless you were hauling south out of, uh, South out of field 15, like like you guys were doing last night. Then the dirt road's much faster. But from oh, the Michael farm Rush, in general, uh, yeah, it takes uh, Tino. Give it a minute to update. Uh, that's just part of the problem with a lot of people on the server. It takes a little while to update. Wait. Really? Tino. I mean, it, it, it's it's updating eventually, right, Tino? I mean, because we own both those fields. That should all change. Well, no, there's some kind of a serious problem. Okay. Oh, goodness. What the heck is wrong with this stupid map? Bro, well, do you want to jump in the other semi and hook from the farm the corn to the elevators? Yeah. Uh, yeah, if we, yeah, if we have time now that we're closer, um, 
we can we can yeah. finish emptying the, the silo, you know, the, the steel bins from home. That would be for Michael left. Michael left, then we have semi stunning. Well, I'm about are. ready to I'm about ready to end the stream and leave as well. Um, about all I can uh, sit, and I gotta. I haven't uh, eaten breakfast yet, let alone lunch. But I haven't really been feeling like eating much. But I didn't have a headache today, so I'm uh, much better than yesterday. Still. Still not back up to total speed, but um, anyway, uh, I guess I might as well start saying goodbye now. Um, <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really sure. Uh, I say good, uh, what do I talk about? It's unhack on the YouTube. <laughs> What's that? It's unhack on the YouTube. Is he watching that? It's unhog. Unhog, yeah. He's normally on the disco. Oh, yeah. he was. He left. Ah, uh, okay. Well, he can come help us as well. Yeah, he uh, he said he had to go. I don't know if he's still available or not. I think he was playing Oakville, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, but then he had uh, he, he he left the stream, which meant he probably stopped playing as well. A lot, a lot of people seem to watch streams while they're also playing Farming Simulator. I've never actually thought about doing that myself. It seems like a really fun thing to do. Can't wait to can't wait to try Oakfield myself. Yeah, I, that's weird, because that sh shouldn't have anything to do with chop straw directly. But maybe that's why chop straw isn't working. Uh, I don't, do you want to come see if you can cultivate it in this field, Tino, just as a test? Because I I don't what would stop. Yeah, chop straw is not working. It's, I don't know what what I did should have fixed it, but it's just, it's just not. It made it worse. It seems it's just not right for a four X map. Maybe maybe the problem is we needed to cultivate the entire map to kind of reset things, and then re uh, plant, harvest, etc., and then maybe chop straw will work. Uh, because with with how I. With how I reset it, it could have put different things in different parts of the map, um, just based on the way that, that resolution works. Yeah, just try it, try it anywhere over here, Tino, and just see if it works. I'm just, you know, it's gonna kind of look ugly, but it'll be a, it'll be a good test because I don't know what in the world is wrong. I, I mean, I don't know what would cause only half of you to work. Okay. Well, that's that's really weird. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I uh, looks like the operation's gonna slow down quite a bit here because I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go here soon as well. Um, I'm gonna work. JD Duca, both of us. I'm gonna go down here to this side of the field. All right. Well, guys, I, I thank you, everybody from the stream that's uh, been watching and tagging along. And uh, yeah, I think I'm probably going to sign off here. I've got, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm just not my, um, I'm just kind of not my normal talking of self. Uh, otherwise, I would uh, be um, at a loss for, uh, stopping but now i'm kind of at a loss for words so i <laughs> thank you for everybody that uh over on youtube I, I think all my uh brand new subscribers um we got bd ssb and jake and uh looks like other subscribed earlier as well so i'm not sure if you guys are still there tagging along or not but uh, i appreciate it and thanks for uh stopping by um yeah thanks to everybody else all my regular subscribers thanks uh all of you guys over there on youtube chat that uh managed to stick it out this far and survive this long uh had some good conversation with tim and devin and uh arm and um <laughs> uh well it's just oh, what i'm you do, you it's do what i'm say sick that, Tino, but he did say like about 
six or seven minutes ago that he was going to say goodbye. <laughs> but I didn't then actually start saying the goodbye, though. That's the difference. There's a difference between no, no, starting the goodbye true. and actually saying goodbye in, in actuality. So, um, yeah. Uh, we're going to... Okay. I'm going to just go up to the end of this row, and then I will stop the stream. And, uh, again, thanks, everybody. Um, I don't even know how many people I have on this stream or not yet. <laughs> I haven't been looking, so I could be saying goodbye to nobody. But, uh, anyway, yeah, it's not my normal energetic self, so maybe that's part of it. But thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. Have a great day. And we're going to, uh, we're going to, we're going to stop right there. Okay, maybe we'll maybe we'll wait just a second. Lady track Oh, no, right. Uh, we'll uh, we'll start unloading and we'll uh, we'll hit the stop button there. So until next time, thanks guys. Uh, thanks for stopping by and uh, thanks to all the awesome players over on the server. Goodbye everybody. JD Tractor said goodbye with his honk. Bye YouTube.